A cordial greeting. Today is Saturday, October 4, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it is 7.30 in the morning, local time, in the Eastern Caribbean, where we are monitoring a strong tropical wave that emerged from Africa yesterday and is currently located just south of the Cabo Verde Islands. Over the past 24 hours, the probabilities of development of the next tropical cyclone associated with this wave have continued increasing, and in the latest projections, all the global models develop at least a tropical depression and potentially the future tropical storm Jerry by the middle of next week in the central tropical Atlantic. But preliminarily, we have good news since the latest projections suggest that the future cyclone could pass just to the northeast of the Caribbean, however, close enough that residents of the northern Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico should continue to monitor its evolution. At least according to the National Hurricane Center's 2 a.m. tropical outlook, probabilities of development stand at 50% in about seven days as it approaches the Northeast Caribbean, but it is very likely that by 8 a.m. these probabilities will increase again, perhaps to 60%. In addition, compared to yesterday, notice that the possible development area has been adjusted and now extends a little further northeast of the Caribbean, in response to what the latest model projections are showing. If we zoom into the infrared satellite image, we can see that the tropical wave is accompanied by a broad field of moisture and also with good circulation, which can help it form into a tropical depression by the middle of next week. And the faster it develops into a tropical depression, the higher the chances it will pass northeast of the Caribbean. In general, the environment in this zone is favorable for gradual organization in the coming days. First, the sea surface temperatures along its track are above normal, particularly west of longitude 50 degrees west. And when the disturbance is located just east of the Lesser Antilles, the upper-level atmospheric conditions will be favorable for strengthening. In fact, some models show a major hurricane when it passes at its closest point northeast of the Caribbean. However, it is still very preliminary to determine how strong it may be in six to seven days. And something we need to watch carefully is how the tropical wave interacts with dry air that will be located north of the circulation, since there is a possibility that some of this dry air could slightly hinder its strengthening. So this is why, even though most of the models have it passing just northeast of the Caribbean, if there is a change in the cyclonic organization process and it takes longer than anticipated, it could move a little more to the west, at least according to the latest projections from the European Ensemble members. In general, those that develop a tropical depression faster eventually have that west-northwest movement, passing about 200 miles northeast of the Lesser Antilles. However, we still have some members that keep the system weaker, as a tropical storm, and in that case it could pass closer to or over the northeast Caribbean. And those two possible scenarios are evident in the American Ensemble members. Notice that the members showing a stronger system, represented by the red and pink colors in this image, have that west-northwest component that could bring the future cyclone farther northeast of the Caribbean. However, the members that keep it somewhat weaker, represented by green, yellow, and blue colors, indicating a tropical depression or tropical storm, are the ones that bring a track closer to or over the northeast Caribbean. So it is clear here that the most important things we will be monitoring are how quickly it manages to form into a tropical depression, and also how much it manages to strengthen when it approaches the Caribbean. Once again, a stronger system would take a track just northeast of the Caribbean. However, if it remains weaker, it could travel farther west. In the case of Google's Artificial Intelligence Ensemble, in this case the vast majority do show a distant track to the northeast of the Caribbean, since all of them develop a tropical depression in approximately three days. Now let's look at the latest projections from the global models. Let's begin with the American model. Notice that already during Monday night it develops a tropical depression, and this causes the future tropical storm Jerry to encounter very favorable conditions for strengthening just east of the Lesser Antilles. And in fact, in about five days the American model has a Category 2 or Category 3 hurricane passing just northeast of the Caribbean. So if the future cyclone manages to strengthen, as the European model shows, it is very likely it will pass about 200 to 400 miles northeast of the Caribbean. And in the latest run that just came out of the European model, this same trend is also moving toward a somewhat stronger system, in this case a tropical storm, passing just northeast of the Caribbean in about seven days. We also have the German model projection, which, like the American model, already has a tropical depression as early as Tuesday morning, and this allows the system to strengthen fairly quickly as it approaches the Caribbean. And in the latest run it shows a Category 3 or Category 4 hurricane passing about 200 to 300 miles northeast of the Caribbean. Meanwhile, the artificial intelligence version of the European model shows a tropical storm also passing well northeast of the Caribbean, just like the UK model projection, which in the midnight run also maintains that track northeast of the Antilles. So it is quite evident that the trends at the moment indicate that the tropical wave could strengthen fairly quickly over the next seven days. 
and ironically this may be favorable for the Eastern Caribbean, since a stronger system would probably take a track just northeast of the Antilles. Now then, it is important that we remain watchful because the system is still in the process of cyclonic development, and until we actually have a tropical depression, some changes may still occur in the projections, from a system that takes longer to organize and could get closer to the Caribbean, to another scenario with a stronger system that could even move farther away from the region. And while recording this video, the latest 8 a.m. tropical outlook has just come out, in which the National Hurricane Center maintains a 50% chance of development, but notice that the possible development area for a tropical depression has once again been adjusted just northeast of the Caribbean. Well then, I will continue closely monitoring the tropical wave, and let's hope the trends we are seeing continue throughout the weekend. But before I go, I would like to ask you to give this video a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the bell so you receive notifications when I post new videos. I hope you all have an excellent Saturday. See you later.